Hey guys, and welcome back to today's video. Today, I'm gonna be doing a home shopping haul. I'm so excited to show you guys everything that I bought for the house, and I think it's appropriate to show it today because tomorrow we close on the house. I'm so excited. Can't believe the time has finally come. I just like remember posting the video of when I said I think we found the house. To give you an update, we do close tomorrow. We're not moving in until Friday the 13th. I know, like we couldn't have picked a more scarier day. I wanna take a week to paint. I've been having a hard time picking out paint colors because I think I picked too many swatches and I just have like so much of a variety now. We went to the house on Sunday. When I picked out the two colors that I liked, Mitchell was like off talking to the original owners. We got in the car and I was like, hey babe, do you like these two colors I picked out? And they're very neutral, whatever. And he goes, they look pink. And I'm like, what? I was like, out of all things, I don't want my inside of the house to look pink. Now I'm on the struggle bus again and I'm trying to figure out what colors to choose. I came down to four colors. Let me show you. This color is what I would like to paint like the whole inside of the house, like the family room, the kitchen area, when you walk into the front door and then probably the dining room too. Like I want my house all similar in one color because then I can decorate with more fun things. I really like that color, but I don't know if it's too yellowy, if it has a yellow tone and I don't want that at all. And then I have these other three colors. This color I really like, but I don't know if it has too much gray and I know this color has too much gray, but it's called Perfect Taupe. Figured like maybe we could paint the front room, which we're probably gonna turn into like Mitchell's little man cave and he's gonna like play video games in there or not. And I kind of wanted it to look more boy -y, so. I think this would be a cool color, but I'm not too concerned about that room yet or the guest bedroom. Like I wanna get the inside, the main part of the inside done first and then our bedroom. I thought about doing our bedroom this color because we're, we have white bedroom furniture. So I thought like our bedroom furniture would pop out if we do a darker color, but I don't know if it's too dark. I need your help. Do I paint our bedroom the same colors I'm painting the house or do I do a darker color? Comment down below and let me know your guys' opinions because I'm curious. Anyways, let's get to the point of this whole video and let me show you all the things I've bought so far for the house. So if you're new and you're playing catch up to my videos, let me give you an update. Me and Mitchell just bought a house. We were never homeowners or apartment owners or anything like that. We've lived at our parents' house, so we literally have nothing, nothing. We've had to start from literally the bottom. I, Mitchell's done all the big purchases, like furniture, and I'm making all the tiny purchases. <laughs> like silverware, dishes, you know, all that stuff that you need in the house. Let's get started. So first thing are glasses. And then I got some tub aware. And then I got Brady's dog food bowl. It even opens up, I don't know what I would put in there, but I thought it was cool that it opened. I, I think I posted this in one of the videos that I was talking about. And I got a lot of questions on where I got it from. I got it from Home Goods. And I got the glasses from Home Goods, and I got the tubware from Amazon. Oh, me and Mitchell's bed sheets. So I just got my nails done today, and they're like this blue. They're like that pretty blue for like a fall, and it kind of is the same color as me and Mitchell's new bed cover that I picked out. So I picked out this pretty bluish gray. I really wanted all white, but I knew with having Brady in the bed that would have been a little difficult because, yeah, it's all white there's gonna be something that's gonna show on there and I'm like super anal about having my sheets clean, like that is a necessity for me. Wash my sheets once a week and I love a clean bed, so. That was the duvet cover. This is like the sheets. It's kind of boyish, but I like it. They're very neutral. <laughs> and I got some poopery. If you guys don't know what poopery is, it's a spray that you spray in the toilet for when you go number two, and it doesn't make your poop stink. I like to use it because I'm not gonna say my shit don't stink. If you guys have never used this before, I totally suggest it, it really does work. I got dishes, silverware, or er, silverware, dinnerware. One box serves four people, and I wanted to serve 12 because I got silverware that serves 12, so I wanted to have enough for 12 people. It comes with four dinner plates, four salad plates, four bowls, and four mugs. So that's like a lot. These sets are from Old Time Pottery. They were a good deal, they were like 30 bucks. 
and one of my favorite things that I've received, thank you so much Karen for getting me this, is a Keurig. I'm so excited to use it, you have no idea. She got me all black because all my appliances in the kitchen are black, so it's gotta match, right? All right, and then I got some mixing bowls. These are from Home Goods. They were 15 bucks, but it gives you six mixing bowls in different sizes, so that was really helpful. Salt and pepper shakers. I also got this bowl, so like when I'm making pancakes or something, you know, it has like the little spout that I can easily pour out because the other mixing bowls I got don't have spouts, so. And this was only three bucks at Old Time Pottery as well. So then I also got a cast iron skillet. This is what me and Mitchell really enjoy cooking our steaks in when we do cook steaks. This is actually from Aldi's. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Aldi's or not, but it's more of a European store. It's actually, I think it's German. I think it's a German store, but they have really good stuff there for like good prices. So that, that cast iron skillet was only $15. And this is my silverware set. Like I said, serves 12. That is from Sam's Club. Yeah, an 80 piece set for $80. This is also from Sam's. It's just like a little throw blanket to go for the, our couch, you know, because we're gonna need a blanket. So then I got four pillows, four king size pillows, because me and Mitchell have a king size bed, and so I don't have any king size pillows. And then last but not least, in this bag is just a bunch of like little things that I needed. I think it's mainly all for the kitchen, so I'll just go through this pretty fast. Soap dispenser. Chip clips, steak knives, more knives, some more steak knives, silicone spatulas, wine opener, some tongs, potato slicer, can opener, and pizza cutter. So that's pretty much all I've gotten so far. Um, oh, I actually did buy a vacuum cleaner yesterday, which I'm really super excited about. It's so weird how times have changed now. Like, I used to be super excited about buying clothes and shoes and, you know, all that fun stuff, but now I'm like, this is so much fun buying house stuff. But yeah, I know I still have a lot of more things to purchase, but those will probably be probably be last minute things. But I think I'm like pretty good on the necessities, like silverware, dishes. I do need to get pots and pans and then like baking sheets and stuff. But other than that, I think I did a pretty good job so far. A lot of my stuff I've bought has been from like Home Goods, Sam's, um, Old Time Pottery. Also, comment down below, you guys, if you have, like, any other suggestions on what to buy and what you think I will need for the house if you're a current homeowner right now because I'm new to this and I don't know. I don't have much experience about it. And I want to see what you guys say and see if I missed anything. Like, I, I jotted a lot down, but you never know. There's always something that you've missed that you're like, oh, that's what I need. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. Before I go, I want to tell you one more thing. I'm going to start doing shout outs at the end of my videos. So if you're a new subscriber, comment hashtag new to Tay. So I want to see how many of you guys are new to my channel. And if you're an old subscriber, you can even hashtag old to Tay. And I'll still give you guys a shout out so you guys will see at the end of each video who I choose to be in the shout out. And if you don't follow me on my social media, you should go ahead and do that. I close tomorrow, guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. I'm not going to. I'm not too concerned. You know, I've been wanting to pick out different paint colors. No. You know, I've been having a hard time picking out paint. No. Mm -hmm.